say, can you see by the dawn's early light or the land of the free and the home of the brave? Hi, welcome back to Midwest Outdoors here at day two of the 2016 Leech Lake Walleye Tournament. Yesterday the top of the field finished pretty tight within five pounds of the leader of the top 30 teams so it's still anybody's game. After almost a week of some blustery rainy type conditions we've got clear blue skies today the front blew out of here and the wind's starting to howl a little bit so it's going to make things change a little bit for the teams they're going to have to adjust maybe switch over to some shallow water stuff or vice versa who knows, we'll just see how it turns out today. One of the neat things about this tournament is it's not just for the pros. There's a lot of locals that fish this. You know, with a tournament this size of 155 teams, you'd think it'd get crowded out on the lake, but that's far from the way the situation is here. With 112,000 acres and all the different bays here, and the many different patterns going on at the same time, these teams really get spread out. They're from one end of the lake to the other. In fact, filming them here, it's, it's hard finding them because there's just one here, one there. So the spots aren't crowded at all. Uh, this spot we're on right here has got three boats on it, and this has been one of the most crowded spots we've seen. So that's great for the average angler coming up too because you can get out and fish these spots and not have to worry about you know bumper boats and that kind of thing. A lot of the bigger fish caught in this tournament are caught rig live bait rigging in some deep water. They're doing that with big creek chubs. When I say big, I'm talking like five to eight inch chubs. They're big minnows. Uh, but that's where they're getting a lot of these over 26 inch fish. One of the strategies is to go for those fish early in the morning uh, and then go out and try to get your other five. Uh, a lot of the teams, because you can get up to 20 inches, there's some weight there, they'll go out and try to get those five first and then spend the rest of the afternoon in the deeper waters trying to get that big fish getting close to weigh in now. Let's go in and see who's going to cast a big check. Got a big fish here to weigh in. So where'd you find your fish? What kind of stuff? Down the rocks? Or? We moved and moved and moved and that one was uh, in uh, Walker Bay. Here. That was in Walker Bay. Did the fish bite better for you early or when the wind really got crazy? Right, right away this morning, but they were all small. You know, we couldn't find the ones we had yesterday uh, and we were a little worried, so we ran to Walker Bay and stuck that pig. So made it, that made it for a fun day. That's a beautiful fish. Well, congratulations. So 12.04, do they come early? Do they come all day or? Kind of all day. We worked uh, hard to get our six fish today. Were they uh, jig fish, rig fish? We did everything. Mostly rigging, but we caught a few jigging too. Were they uh, deep or shallow with this wind? Shallow. All right, well, that's a great catch. Congratulations. Thank you. In third place, with a total of 24.58 pounds, Winners of $4,500. We have the team 132 of Christensen and Look. In second place, with a total of 24.94 pounds, winners of $7,500, Crawford Gill and Rasmussen. And for the second year in a row, with a weight of 28.06 pounds, with a payout of $14,200, we have the Bemidji team of Kelly Kerb and Jim Sutton. Well, that's a wrap for the 2016 Leech Lake Walleye Tournament. It's been a challenging tournament with different wind conditions each day, um, but these guys here, Kelly Kerb, Jim Sutton, they put together a better program than anybody out there today. How'd you do her? Well, I tell you what, we hit uh, three, four spots. 
the fish the windy side and uh, really you get lucky once in a while and we got lucky again today two days in a row and jigging rigging what was the we did uh, we had the shiners going uh -huh. uh, leeches crawlers and also red tails a typical leech lake stuff it's all <laughs> leech lake stuff and we used it all really did well, that's cool they had a 28 pound bag for the weekend and I think you were the only team that had two big fish, one each day, so. I think we were, yeah. And they're the back-to-back -back winners. They won last year, too. So you, you guys have got something going on uh, here. We, we're pretty proud of that <laughs> one. I mean, to win it once, but to come back to win it that's again. Impressive. That's impressive. That's pretty special for us. For more information on how to fish on Leech Lake and for lodging all around the lake, check out the website at the bottom of the screen. I'm Dana Pitt with the Leech Lake Tourism Bureau, and stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.